What's up, guys? I'm Nick with Two Brothers Comics. Today, we have three really amazing news stories. Three things going on in the comic world that just excite me. So, I want to share them with you guys. Maybe they'll excite you all a little bit. We're going to kick it right off, okay? A couple of years ago, this little bitty... Matter of fact, hold on. This guy, this little bitty guy. You might have heard of him. His name's Kanto. And uh, he came out a couple of years ago in a comic book by David Boer and Drew Zucker. Uh, this book, you know, you didn't hear much about it at the beginning, other than the spec heads, you know, doing their thing where it's a low print run and yada, yada, yada. But we read the story and we loved it. I fell in love with this book. It reminds me of Bone, which is sitting right back there. And it was one that just excited me. So I've loved the story. We've been huge supporters. Anytime I can share something out about Kanto, I have. This, in fact, is even like a 1 out of 10 uh, ornament that they produced that I was able to pick up last year, actually. And I gave one over to, or well, Tyler and I both bought one. And I thought it was done after the current Kanto 3. Um, I thought it was over. I thought after Kanto 3, the Lionhearted, Kanto was done. They were going to move on and focus on the new screenplay. But I was wrong. January 1, David Booter tweets, For all its challenges, 2021 was pretty exciting for me professionally. And then he puts out this screenshot, kind of calendar, of all the books he's going to be working on. And in June, it shows Canto Mini, number one of two. Okay, that's pretty cool, another mini series. But Canto number four, A Place Like Home, number one, coming out in October. So that's super exciting. And I wanted you guys to share that. If you've been enjoying the story so far, you know, it wraps up. Canto number three wraps up in February with number six. I love it. And it's not going anywhere, it looks like. So that's super exciting to me. Another big thing that happened that I was kind of wowed about for two reasons. One, a new comic book, not a new comic book, a comic book sold for over almost a half a million dollars, $490,000. It is a 9-0 Incredible Hulk number one. The first appearance of the Incredible Hulk. Yeah, in case you didn't know. But $490,000, the most expensive Hulk number one ever sold. That blows my mind to think that a 9-0 Hulk number one only sold for $490,000, but that, that, that makes it the most expensive one it's ever sold. So it was sold through Comic Connect. I mean, just Wow. And uh, apparently it's very hard to find one of these because, well, it was really, really, really terrible paper quality and there was a lot of smudging and things like that, a gray. So, yeah, 9 and a CGC. They have a scan here of it. It looks beautiful, right? But $490,000, that just seems a little cheap to me, man. You would think comic book, the highest sold ever, Incredible Hulk number one, would be a little bit more. But... But, 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 who am I? What do I know? Still pretty freaking sweet. 490 grand for a comic book. Here's the big story I wanted to talk about, though. Walking Dead creator Robert Kirkman himself in negotiations for G.I. Joe and Transformer publishing rights from Hasbro. Now, we just talked about another IDW title, Canto. Love it. But let's be brutally honest here. IDW is suffering right now. They've been suffering um, they just had the whole age of stuff kind of pulled from them from Marvel uh, or that was being rumored. I believe it did actually take place, though. And now Hasbro apparently has been fairly unhappy. And this is coming from CBR. I've seen it on Hollywood Reporter, I've seen it on all other kinds of things. And now that Robert Kirkman from, you know, you know him from Invincible, right? The greatest single superhero story maybe ever told. Maybe. The Walking Dead. Another phenomenal show or sto story show was okay for a while. And Skybound Entertainment, obviously, that's kind of his studio there. And wow, could you imagine having Robert Kirkman? Now, he's apparently not the one going to be writing it, but kind of having him, the guy in charge, pushing Transformers or G.I. Joe. I've not heard one person super excited about Transformers or G.I. Joe and I don't know, like, I've never one time say, hey, what comic book should I read? And somebody go, oh, yeah, go pick up the new Transformers. It's fantastic. Or, hey, go pick up G.I. Joe. That is great. I've not heard anybody say that. 
ever to me. And I actually, when this news started circulating before Christmas, I started reading, I went to Comixology, started reading some of the original, um, I think it was like the original four Transformers comics from Marvel. They were okay, but you know, you kind of have to understand the story behind them and how they kind of got pushed through there. But can you imagine, like, okay, Dream Team on Transformers, what would it be? Who would it be? Who would be the writer? Mm, maybe Charles Soule, because I really like kind of what he's he's doing with some Star Wars stuff. You know, and then, you know, I'm going to say it. Uh, I'm going to say it. Donny Cates on Transformers with somebody like Ryan Otley also doing the artwork. I just love Ryan Otley's artwork. Could you imagine Donny Cates for a second? Because Donny Cates is not afraid to do something that's cool. But then they would need somebody to come in and really help finish the story strong. I don't know. But I really think that this would be cool. I think it would be cool to see Robert Kirkman write it himself. But apparently this is not the case. And uh, we'll see what happens. But I don't, you know, I know this is still technically a rumor. But, you know, it's been, you know, being reported. And it's not like it's coming from, you know, one of these crazy, you know, fanfic sites but i would love to see that happen i think i think it has a good opportunity to do very well it would excite a lot of people having kirkman's name attached to it um i also wish somebody would pick up team and t um and make team and t really solid again not like this furry uh I w yeah we won't go into it but if you're if you have read any of the recent team and t run it's just it's uh, it's interesting. We'll we'll leave it at that, and I don't think interesting in a good way at all. Because again, I've never heard anybody in the last few years say, "Man, you really should pick up the current team and T run." Um, last run in, yeah, it's been decent up until the last issue, where all of a sudden now the turtle mutation is airborne, and you can just give it by being close to people. But what am I? Anyways, let me know what you think. Canto Hulk number one for a half a million dollars. That's you know what that does suck. You couldn't even break five hundred grand. I would have just thrown the extra ten. If if I'm spending four ninety, throw the extra ten just to be able to say I spent a half a million dollars on that comic book, and now Robert Kirkman takeover of some really interesting titles there. Transformers GI Joe. Maybe he could like, maybe maybe he can like go to Nickelodeon and be like, hey, give me TMNT. We'll make something of it again. Guys, you're the best part of Two Brothers Comics. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it out. And as always, collect your way.